we want to graph y equals negative 8 cosine x in the interval negative 2 pi to 2 pi, and we need to find the amplitude in the range of the function. Now, if you recall, we can find the amplitude in the range right off the bat. We don't even need a table of values. Remember, the amplitude is going to be the, the absolute value of the number in front. So the absolute value of the number in front is just an 8. So our amplitude is going to be 8. Now, then what's the next thing that it asked us? Well, it asked us to find the range. Well, if the amplitude is 8, remember that means that it has to come up 8 units above the x-axis, and it's also going to be 8 units below the x-axis. So there's our range right there, right off the bat. So it's going to be from minus 8 to positive 8. So that's your range. Well, that's half the battle, right? Because now all we need to do is graph it. So how are we going to do that? Well, remember, you always want to consider your base function. So what is the base function? The base function is y equals the cosine of x. And we know that the way the base function looks, it intercepts at 0, 1, and it's going to come down and up. And if you come over here, same kind of deal. And where does it come down to? Well, the point down here is at negative 1. So we have a negative 1 there, and we have a 1 up on top. So what is, happens now, we have a minus 8 in front. So what does that tell us? Well, we know that the 8 is going to tell us that it's going to come up 8 units here, and it's going to be at minus 8 down here. So instead of starting at 0, now we're going to be starting at 8. What does the negative tell us? Well, the negative tells us that we have flipped over the cosine around the x-axis. So that means instead of having our point up here at positive 1, it's now going to be at negative 8. Well, what does that do for us? Well, that means that we're going to have to come up to 8 and then come back down. And we have to do the same thing on the other side because it says we want a negative 2 pi to 2 pi. So we do it on the other side as well. Now, what I'm drawing for you is a basic idea of what it looks like. It's not exact, and I'm not pretending that it is exact. So make sure for your classes, if you're using a graphing calculator, make sure you find those x-intercepts and that they are correct when you graph them, or if you're using the Desmos calculator for me online, that you do as well. You find the exact values so that your graph actually looks correct.